this is the ninth question of exercise 5.2 of chapter 5. And this question says if the third and the ninth term of, of NAP are 4 and minus it respectively, which term of this AP is 0? This is very good question. Let us see how to solve this question. First, we have to let the first term. So, let A be the first term. First term. And D is the common difference. We can write the third term easily. That is A plus 2D. And the third term is for given 4. And ninth term can be written as A plus 8. D and ninth term is equals to minus 8. So we let that this is equation number 1 and this is equation number 2. So we shall solve these two equations to find out the value of A and D. So we shall subtract equation 1 from equation 2. Subtracting equation 1 from equation 2. What we get? A plus 8D minus A plus 2D and we shall subtract 4 from minus 8 we get minus 8 minus 4 and this is equals to minus 12 and here we get A plus 8D minus A minus 2D now we can cancel out this minus A from this A we get we can subtract this 2d from 8d we get 6d and here is minus 12 this means 6d is equals to minus 12 therefore d is equals to minus 2 so we found out the value of d and that is equals to minus 2 so now we shall put this value in equation number 1 so we write putting in equation 1 and equation 1 is a plus 2d 2 and the value of d is minus 2 and that is equals to equals to 4 and uh, calculating this value we get a equals to 8 therefore the first term is a a equals to 8 now we can easily find out that which term of this ap is 0 this means we are given nth term this means a n is 0 now we shall use the general term of the AP and that is A plus N minus 1 into D and this is equals to AN. And we are given AN equals to 0. The value of A is 8 and we have to find out N and D is minus 2. So now we shall easily calculate this equation and to find the value of n we get minus 2n positive 2 equals to 0 plus 8. So minus 2n equals to minus 10 and n equals to positive 5. So we can say that so fifth term of this AP is 0. Thank you.